Imagine the following situation. You are in your kitchen trying to make a sandwich for yourself, but all the ingredients are a thousand feet away. So first you walk thousand feet to get your bread, then you go again, get the cheese, put it on the bread. You go again a thousand feet to just get the veggies, come back. It's a nightmare, right? Well, guess what? That is exactly what our computers do when they're trying to solve a problem. You see, computation is like making a sandwich and the ingredients are data. So whenever a computer tries to calculate something, it has to fetch data which is located somewhere else and does the calculation somewhere else. This has been a fundamental problem with computers all through the decades of its development. That is why the computers are so inefficient. Our brain, on the other hand, is so efficient, so harmonious. We have trillions of neurons and synapses which work in great accord. That's because they are located intimately close to each other in space. That's why the brain is so efficient. If you want to make a human brain out of the modern computer, you would require a chip that is the size of a football field. And to power that chip, you would require an entire nuclear power plant just to operate that single chip. So can we make computers that are as intelligent as the human brain? Well, that is the question my research tries to answer. And the answer seems to lie in magnets. A single magnet by itself can't do much. But my research shows that when you have a large swarm of small magnets that are made to talk to each other, they can exhibit human brain-like intelligence. Using today's nanotechnology, we can make magnets that are a 1,000 times smaller than the width of a single human hair. When you make magnets small, they rotate randomly in space, just like a compass needle. When many such tiny magnets are brought close to each other, an emergent, intelligent behavior comes out of this chaos. In my lab, I have made a million such tiny magnets all within the area of a single grain of sand. My research shows that when we tune the interactions between these magnets very precisely, they can solve even complex problems such as giving an optimum path for a traveling salesman or diagnosing a patient for diseases. These, these tasks are very difficult for computers. So what, moving forward, my dream is to make a computer chip that is as intelligent as the human brain using these amazing properties of intelligent tiny magnets. Thank you.